Hey everyone, Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I uh, just want to show you guys how to identify what size thermal pads you're going to need for these GPUs. You just need to find a cheap caliper somewhere, like this one from Harbor Freight, Home Depot, whatever you got closest to you. Get yourself a cheap caliper, there's two ends to it. This one, on this end, I like to use for when I tear down the GPU, otherwise we can use this end for uh, finding out the spacing on the back plate. For example, make sure everything's zeroed out. And we want to identify a mounting area. So we want to see where the back plate is being mounted to the PCB. We got one right here in the power color. We're going to put the bottom end that you see on my screen here right there. And then we're going to pull apart. And then when we do that, we see we got 2.8 mil between the back side of the PCB and the back plate. Let's do another one here on the ASRock Challenger right here. We're going to go right in that area, pull apart. 2.6 mil but there is something that you need to take in, uh, account of and that is for example this ASRock Challenger only has four areas where the back plate mounts to the PCB one here one down there and then two on this end but there's nothing in the middle actually putting pressure on the back side of the PCB so this thermal pads that I have here already aren't really making sufficient contact so you want to take that into account because if I measure right here in this area very carefully it's about three mil and I'm actually pulling the back plate away from the PCB when I just did that. So that's actually not good. I want to replace those thermal pads with something a little bigger. You can see there's two of them, both gray and pink, and we need to replace those. But actually it's holding up and even though this card's been giving me trouble with a little bit of Frankensteining, it's been working just fine. The Gigabyte bike card, the same thing. Obviously we find out where the closest mounting area is, about right here. 2.7 mil so most of these cars at least in the 5000 series are about 3 mil and I'm willing to bet it's gonna be the same thing on Nvidia so this is a 2080 and yeah 2.9 mil and you could go around and do that for all of your cards but it's not really necessary most of them on the back plate will be about 3 mil what they are in the center or where the uh, core is and the thermal pads on the inside facing the actual cooler the heat sink that might be a different story. Some of these are different. Like for example, the one here on the ASRock, the green one, that probably looks like one mil, while the ones on, say for example, these power color might be 0.5. It really just depends on the GPU and the, obviously the manufacturer. Uh, but you can, you can really identify that. So it looks like these are one mil as well. If I try to measure that out very carefully. Hang on one second. Yeah, so about one mil on the front on this particular power color card um, and then three mil on the back, but you really just gotta identify using a caliper what you actually need as far as thermal pads. And then as for what is the best one, um, my recommendation is honestly the Thermal Grizzlies Minus Pad 8. Uh, these have a really good thermal efficiency. They're not the best. The best is the GLID GP Extreme. I had it linked in my description of my video when we were dealing with the 3080 thermal issues, which is now running just fine and smoothly. But I would recommend either the GLID, if this is too rich for your blood or too expensive for you to get enough for your GPUs, get the thermal, um, the minus pad 8 from Thermal Grizzly, and that would do just fine. Honestly, any thermal pad would do better than stock, to be honest. But you just want to pick out you know what you actually need depending on what are the temperatures of your GPU that's gonna pretty much do it for me today please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date what's going on as well as check out some of the links in the description that help support the channel you all have yourself a wonderful day take care I'll catch you next one